Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1757, Louis XV of France survives an assassination attempt by Robert Francois Damiens. Damiens becomes the last person in France to be executed by drawing and quartering. In 1778, South Carolina becomes the first state to ratify the Articles of Confederation. In 1781, Richmond, Virginia is burned by British naval forces led by Benedict Arnold. In 1783, earthquakes in Italy kill 30,000 people. Also in 1783, Sweden recognizes the United States as an independent country. In 1817, the first U.S. gas company is incorporated in Baltimore, Maryland. In 1818, Jean-Baptiste Bernadotte ascends to the thrones of Sweden and Norway. In 1825, Hannah, Lord Montague, creates the first detachable shirt collar. In 1846, the U.S. House of Representatives votes to stop sharing the Oregon Territory with the United Kingdom. Also on this day, and in Oregon, the Oregon Spectator is the first newspaper to be published on the West Coast. In 1852, one of the oldest and largest museums in the world, the Hermitage in St. Petersburg, Russia, opens to the public. In 1861, the first moving picture peep show machine is patented by Samuel Goodale. In 1869, the biggest gold nugget in history is found in Australia. It is named the Welcome Stranger and had a weight of over 150 pounds. I'd call that a boulder, not a nugget. In 1870, the first motion picture shown to a theater audience occurs in Philadelphia. In 1881, Phoenix, Arizona is incorporated as a city. In 1885, King Leopold II of Belgium establishes the Congo as a personal possession. Yes, the Congo. In 1887, snow falls on San Francisco. Also in 1887, Giuseppe Verdi's opera Otello premieres at La Scala in Italy. In 1901, the Loop the Loop roller coaster is patented by Ed Prescott. In 1904, the U.S. occupation of Cuba ends. In 1909, Belgian chemist Leo Bakkeland develops the world's first synthetic plastic, and we have been trying to get rid of it since. In 1916, opera tenor Enrico Caruso recorded O Solo Mio for the Victor Talking Machine Company. In 1917, Mexico adopts a new constitution. Also in 1917, the Congress of the United States passes the Immigration Act of 1917 forbidding immigration from nearly all of South and Southeast Asia. In 1918, the SS Tuscania is torpedoed off the coast of Ireland, making it the first ship carrying American troops to Europe to be torpedoed and sunk. Also in 1918, Stephen W. Thompson shoots down a German airplane. It is the first aerial victory by the U.S. military. In 1919, Charlie Chaplin, along with several others, creates the movie studio United Artists. In 1921, the Yankees baseball team purchases 20 acres in the Bronx for Yankees Stadium. In 1922, Reader's Digest magazine is published for the first time. In 1924, the Greenwich Time Signal is broadcast for the first time. It marks the precise start of the hour so we can all stay on time. In 1925, Nellie Taylor Ross of Wyoming becomes the first female governor in the United States. In 1927, Buster Keaton's movie The General is released. It bombed. In 1929, Jimmy Hatlow's They'll Do It Every Time cartoon debuts in San Francisco. In 1931, Maxine Dunlop becomes the first U.S. woman to earn a glider pilot license. In 1933, construction of the Golden Gate Bridge begins over San Francisco Bay. In 1934, MLB phenomenon Hank Aaron is born in Mobile, Alabama. In 1936, the National Wildlife Federation is formed. In 1937, Charlie Chaplin's talkie Modern Times is released. Also in 1937, U.S. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt proposes enlarging the Supreme Court. His court packing plan failed. In 1940, Glenn Miller and his orchestra record Tuxedo Junction. In 1942, American football's Roger Staubach is born. In 1943, American middleweight boxer Jake LaMotta, also known as the Bronx Bull, handed Sugar Ray Robinson his first defeat. Also in 1943, Nolan Bushnell 
founder of Atari and creator of Pong, the first video game, is born. In 1944, the Captain America serial film premieres. This is the first appearance of a Marvel superhero outside of a comic. In 1945, he promised to do it, and he did. General Douglas MacArthur returns to Manila. In 1948, The Nature of Things science show premieres on NBC TV. Also in 1948, 18-year-old Dick Button becomes the first United States figure skating Olympics champion. In 1953, Peter Pan by Walt Disney opens at the Roxy Theater in New York City. Also in 1953, the fifth Emmy Awards are broadcast. I Love Lucy is a big winner. In 1956, the seventh Winter Olympics Games close at Cortina d'Ampezzo, Italy. In 1957, Shostakovich completes his second piano concerto. In 1958, a hydrogen bomb, known as the Tybee Bomb, is lost by the U.S. Air Force off the coast of Savannah, Georgia. It has never been recovered. Peak! In 1967, the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour premieres on CBS. Then it moved to ABC and then to NBC. In 1969, Vince Lombardi becomes part owner, vice president, general manager, and head coach of the Washington Redskins. In 1971, Apollo 14 puts astronauts Alan Shepard and Edward Mitchell on the moon. In 1972, Bob Douglas becomes the first African-American elected to the Basketball Hall of Fame. Also in 1972, U.S. President Richard Nixon orders the development of a space shuttle program. And also in 1972, U.S. airlines begin mandatory inspections of passengers and baggage. In 1973, Mexican serial killer Juan Corona is sentenced to 25 consecutive life terms for 25 murders. In 1974, the warmest temperature ever recorded in Antarctica happens today. It was 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Nope, not negative 59. Also in 1974, the maximum speed on the Autobahn is reduced to 100 kilometers per hour, or about 62 miles per hour. What? In 1976, a swine flu outbreak begins in Fort Dix, New Jersey. In 1977, boxer Sugar Ray Leonard beats Luis Vega in six rounds in his first pro fight. In 1978, Fred Newman makes 88 consecutive basketball free throws blindfolded. In 1980, the Egyptian parliament votes to end their boycott of Israel. In 1982, the mayor of Rome and the mayor of Carthage meet in Tunis to sign a treaty of friendship officially ending the Third Punic War, which lasted 2,134 years. Also today, the DEA announces the seizure of 3,192 tons of marijuana arresting 495 people. In 1983, today is former Nazi Gestapo official Klaus Barbie's first day of his trial. In 1985, Portuguese footballer Cristiano Ronaldo is born. In 1986, Filipino politicians Corazon Aquino and Ferdinand Marcos appear on Nightline. In 1988, Russian President Mikhail Gorbachev and U.S. President Ronald Reagan are nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. Also in 1988, the first primetime wrestling match in 30 years is broadcast. Andre the Giant beats Hulk Hogan. In 1989, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar becomes the first NBA player to score 38,000 points. In 1991, a Michigan court bars Dr. Jack Kevorkian from assisting in suicides. In 1992, jury selection begins in the trial of Los Angeles police charged in the beating of Rodney King. In 1993, the oil tanker MV Brer runs aground on the coast of the Shetland Islands, spilling 84,700 tons of crude oil. Also in 1993, a grenade explodes in Sarajevo, killing 63 and injuring 160. In 1994, Byron de la Beckwith was convicted of killing civil rights leader Metgar Evans in 1963. Beckwith received a life sentence. Also in 1994, during the war in Bosnia and Herzegovina, more than 60 people are killed and some 200 are wounded when a mortar shell is fired into a downtown marketplace in Sarajevo. In 1997, banks in Switzerland announced the creation of a $71 million fund to aid Holocaust survivors and their families. Also in 1997, Brooke Lee, representing Hawaii, 
is crowned the 46th Miss USA, and then she went on to win Miss Universe. In 1998, author Tom Clancy confirms he signed an agreement to purchase the Minnesota Vikings for slightly more than $200 million, an NFL franchise record. In 1999, former heavyweight boxing champ Mike Tyson is sentenced to a year in a Maryland jail for assaulting two motorists after a traffic accident. In 2005, the largest known dwarf planet in the solar system, Eris, is discovered by the team of Michael E. Brown, Chad Trujillo, and David L. Rabinowitz. In 2013, the British House of Commons votes in favor of same-sex marriage. In 2014, Google Vice President Susan Wojcicki is named CEO of YouTube. In 2015, 1970s British rock star Gary Glitter is convicted of sexual child abuse charges in London. In 2017, in the first overtime game in Super Bowl history, the New England Patriots overcame a 25-point deficit to defeat the Atlanta Falcons. Also in 2017, heavy metal band Black Sabbath play their last concert in their hometown of Birmingham, England. In 2019, Pope Francis admits for the first time that clerics have sexually abused nuns. And in 2020, after being impeached by the House of Representatives over his actions in the Ukraine scandal, U.S. President Donald Trump was acquitted in the Senate. So this video went out at 7 a.m. You're done with it now. Refill your coffee and watch a few more. They're right in front of you.